Now normally you get given an object such as a ball and on this object you usually have four arrows one pointing down, one pointing to the left, one pointing to the right and one pointing up. Normally these arrows all add up to nothing and cancel out and what we call that is there is no resultant force. If there is no resultant force then there will be no acceleration. However, let's just say for example my force pushing that way to the left has 10 newtons and say for example my object has 2 kilograms. 10 newtons divided by 2 kilograms the resultant force is still left that will accelerate at 5 meters per second squared. That can be shown by the calculation A equals F divided by M equals 10 divided by 2 equals 5 meters per second squared. However, if my ball was the Earth and it weighed 6 billion, billion, billion kilograms, no matter how hard I push it, well, if I push it with 10 newtons, the acceleration, if, even if it is a resultant, is going to be absolutely tiny. Kinetic energy. If I let this 2 kilogram mass drop down, it will have a kinetic energy E equals a half times M times V squared, which will be a half times 2 times 4 squared, because the speed will be about 4 meters a second. Okay? And that will end up as a half times 2 times 4 squared, which is 16. So it ends up as 16 joules of energy. But that's not what breaks it. When something's moving through the air with kinetic energy, that's different to when it actually hits something. And when it hits something, then momentum takes place. Momentum equals mass times velocity. Now the mass of this is 2 kilograms. The velocity of it is about 4 meters a second. Okay? So if I take this and I smack it down, it will be about 4 meters a second. Okay? Ready? So moving down. So trying to get a really quite fast movement, much faster than a move with the 2 kilogram weight. Okay? And that is how one breaks a brick. It's simply momentum.